I hope to God this gets to Mike DeWine. This simple, this fucking simpleton just put out an order for a 10 to 5 curfew in Ohio. Does, does this silent killer fucking come out in like a mass at 10 p.m. and then goes dormant at 5 a.m. or some shit? Is that how that works? I mean, you think it, 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 it fucking makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. Zero. This, and you know what? I don't give a fuck if I want to go dancing in the streets. I'm going to do what I want to do. Nobody's going to stop me. If they want to stop me, they're going to have a fight. It is that simple. I will not be ruled. You're not going to order me to do some shit. I don't give a fuck if you're the governor, the president, Jesus, the, the fucking cops. I don't care. I'm not doing it. Then this this simple female, I don't know who the hell she was, <laughs> said, even if you don't believe, believe in masks, please wear one. Or the dude did. I'm sorry. It wasn't the females. It was the guy, a different guy. But if you don't if you don't wear a mask, please please just wear one anyway. Yeah, if you don't believe in Jesus, just 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 go to the, to a Catholic church anyway. If you don't if you don't believe in the First Holy Communion, go to a Catholic church and take communion anyway, just for the sake of the, of the everybody else. What we're you know they're they're shoving this fucking ideal of uh, well these practices of socialism down our throat, and people are just complying with it. You know you got these these stupid son of a bitches driving around in circles on two seventy five three weeks ago in this damn Trump train that was clogging up the, you know, the whole interstate. They're going nowhere. They're literally driving in a big circle. And these are the same people that are doing, you know, that they're against socialism. They supposedly support this person that is supposedly against socialism, yet they're all following these socialist orders. That video I posted last night from Larkin Rose, um, like I said, I don't agree. I, I agree with the premise. We should all be as free as we are born. Um, I don't agree with the solution at all. I don't agree with a lot of things that Larkin says. But then again, I agree with a lot of things that Larkin says. What Larkin doesn't understand, I've had a uh, conversation through uh, comment sections with him multiple times. And he always taps out, even though I'm retarded. And he, the dude's like got a really high IQ and uh, is really intelligent and speaks very well. Um, the two or three times I've engaged in a conversation with him, as soon as I get to the point of we only have to enforce our constitution in order to be as free as both you and I know we should be. Freedom isn't free, people. It costs fucking blood, and it costs lives. That is a sad fucking truth, but it's the way that it is. And don't be that person that says, well, are you willing to give up your blood or your life? Yes, I would raise my fucking hand to be the first one to take a bullet as long as all you motherfuckers are behind me ready to fight. And I wouldn't think twice about it. Now, I'm not going to be a martyr. I'm not going to just go run it, run, run into it, you know, at a damn army on my own this point, that's a, this is a pointless death. But I will fight if it's brought to me. I will fight if I'm driving down the road at 1 a.m. and some asshole wants to be a prick and wants to hit his fucking thug lights behind me and think that he has control over me and then pulls me over. And then when I don't stop, you know, all that shit, just like, you know, Larkin says, all that is threats of violence. Even hitting the lights, that's a threat of violence. You're going to pull over and do what I say or I'm going to call some of my buddies and we're going to force you to pull over and we're probably going to kill you. All that shit's true. And, it, it, and we're just going to keep progressing. You know, it's, just, it's conditioning for what's coming next. All this shit is. The first lockdown, it was conditioning us for this. You know, the, the lockdown over the last three weeks is now conditioning us for this, this curfew. It's all bullshit, man. And like, I mean, I, I've been saying it for, for years now. Where, where is the point that we say we've had fucking enough? I've had enough here in Cincinnati. You've had enough wherever the hell you're at. This person's had enough wherever they're at. And we're all, we're all just done. And we, we know that the people around us are going to do it because they're, they're freaking cowards. And, you know, either they're either a complete ca uh, sheeple or they are they know what's going on. They're cowards. One of the two. There's not very many people that are just like, fuck it. You know, people have gotten too comfortable. They, they believe that freedom is free. And it's not. Nothing is free. It's just, it's, it, it completely boggles my mind that anybody would comply with this. That anybody complies with the mask shit. You know, if, if you are asked to wear a mask, you know, if you walk into your family doctor and your family doctor says, hey, you mind wearing a mask? You know, my, my employees, you know, feel a certain way. And 
but he's giving you the option, like, you know, he's not going to kick you out if you don't wear a mask. That's one thing. It's one thing to put a mask on then because you're, you're being asked to. You're given the option to. But being forced to do this shit, fuck you. I don't care if this shit killed 99 out of every 100 people and it was a verifiable fact. I still wouldn't wear a mask based on the simple fact that your asses are telling me I have to. Like, I'm not the guy that's going to do what you tell me to fucking do. And I hope that you all aren't, aren't that guy either that does whatever they're told to do just because they're told to do it. I mean, and we all know. We know it, it's a lie. We know. I mean, it's flu season again. Flu season's here. It's coming up. It's, it's not the second wave. The fucking flu is here. We see the same shit every year. Now, if, if you look at the death st uh, statistics, I'll try to find it before I post this and post them, for monthly deaths in this country, it hasn't went up. No more people are dying now than they did at this time last year or this time, this time the year before last. The same amount of people are dying. They're just marking COVID on all their death certificates now instead of the flu or you know, heart attack or whatever it may be. Losing their head in a motorcycle accident? Yeah, that's happened. It, it's fucking it just I don't even know what to say about it because in my mind it is so out out of just out of touch of with reality. It's not even it shouldn't even be talked about in this country. You know, I have the right to a Republican form of government. A right. That's the government I that I at one time agreed, that I allowed, I gave consent to govern me. It's no longer that. It's now a, a dictatorship. Um, it's, like, it's like a hybrid dictatorship, socialism, communism slavery type shit it, it, it's, it's fucking weird and people are just going along with it they're happy in their Mercedes or in their house or whatever, listen, I will load a truck up and light a match and walk the fuck away from all that shit, that's not what's important in your life, you're, if your house is what's most important to you, your home, your physical home that you live in, you need to, to, to sit down and reevaluate your life you know, what's most important to me, and it's not even about me, it's about my kids you know, if if I if I bow down to the master, then what are my kids going to have to do? And my, my kids are going to have a rough enough already because of all these other pussies that are being raised right now. It's just where does it stop? Where does it stop with you? You know, like I, like I said the other day about guns coast to coast, you can't carry that box of sand around with you and keep drawing your line. You can't say, you know what, I'm done, and then get pulled over it, for, for something that you didn't do. And then allow that dickhead to treat you a certain way. They're using the police forces and the private industry to to violate our rights right now. So how do we stop it? I'll give you an example how to stop it. I stopped here at Dunkin' Donuts on, in Fairfield. I'm stopping here not because I really want energy. That's what we call the stuff that comes in the cup that they, Dunkin' Donuts serves. is energy. We don't call it the other word. Long story. Um... But I'm stopping here because last week I stopped here and these four females in here want to be complete assholes and call the cops on me and shit because I didn't have a mask on. So I made a phone call. I got on the phone with the area, the uh, area, what was his title? Regional manager, some shit, I don't know. He's over all the Dunkin' Donuts out here, or all over all the, um, this whatever oil company this is, I forget now. It starts with a G, I forget. Uh, but anyway, he's like, well, they fucked up. Here's a gift card. I didn't even want the gift card. I don't even know if he sent it to me. I haven't even checked. But regardless, I'm walking in here to see if they follow through with what he said. And if they say something about the mask, I have his cell phone number. I'm going to call him and say, look, I'm standing in front of these four bitches. And at that point, they'll be bitches, um, no longer females. And hopefully that'll change something. Maybe might not change it for everybody. But it, you know what? It'll change it for me. And if enough people do it, these ignorant bastards are clearly asking people about their mask and what their medical condition is and you know, is it their birthday or whatever, the, the, whatever stupid ass questions they have. But anyway, Mike DeWine just went way too far. And uh, if you see this, Mike DeWine, I would like to invite you to come to me. We'll sit down and have a meeting. I can come to you and you can get down and put your knee pads on and get down on your knees. And not to be vulgar, but suck my dick. I'm not complying. <laughs>